Oh, 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 it is a chilly, chilly Wednesday morning. Oh, I think it was about three degrees. Chilly. Got to get used to this. Love it. Anyway, we are pretty much there on the prep. Uh, it's got to sweep out a little bit. Um, obviously, to reveal the foundation, just like this bit. So, yes, we're going to start up this end. Uh, let's get a nice base course in. I think I'm going to start on the curve um, once Cambo has caught up with the muck. He's going to crack on with that straight. And we're just going to work around, really. I'll probably do that curve, get to that curve, and then build back. Just try and get out because it's, it's only a small wall. I reckon it's only going to be about three, four courses, I suppose, looking at the stone. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's not much at all, really, but it's just obviously a lot of curves and that. And we've got a bit of a way to go, um, you know, but I just want to start one end and work back. So what we're going to do, we're going to build as well just below the grass level because um, obviously we've got to accommodate um, a top. I think it's just going to be some sort of like an Indian sandstone top. What we, you know, just a flat top really. Um, like I say, it's going to be 300. So obviously going off that, I expect it is going to be, but like I say, that will be confirmed, but probably be like I say, you know, a grey or a buff colour. But yes, yeah, so that's all good. So like I say, yeah, start on this end, smash on with it. And uh, yeah, try and get a good base down today. Fingers crossed, it doesn't rain. Feels like it is going to, it's like that moisture in the air, you know what I mean? There's all dew on the grass, it's, oh, it's all good. Don't mind this weather, as long as it, as long as it doesn't rain. <laughs> anyway, let's crack on and let's get some building done. Love it. at that we've got a lovely cheeky base in now so we're just coming along there cambo smashing that corner that is cam's corner i've just stepped it back from there i've just knocked up a little section um just to basically show the customer what the style is going to be like um so like i say um just going to keep it try and keep it all coarse it's quite thin stone so that's basically what we're trying to achieve it's absolutely spot on they're very happy with it um, you know, so smaller walls always look a bit funky compared to uh, bigger walls. But uh, so luckily up there, it, it's sort of like three times the height than that. So that that would look a lot nicer up there. But yeah, so that's sort of what we're going for. Um, after a coffee, I'm going to crack on. I'm going to probably leave it there because obviously we've got a, a Indian sandstone cope going on. So they're about a centimetre um, going on top of that. So I'm just going to leave it there because I think it might just be one thin course of stone because obviously we want the top to be flush with um, the grass. So I'm just going to start smashing out this corner. Do, do, do. And uh, yeah, try and get down that straight basically. So if I can get that height to there today, that will be spot on me Julie. And uh, yeah, like I say, Cambo, obviously, you know, he's knocking up and stuff. So hopefully I'm going to leave him that corner as well because that'll be good for him to crack on with a curve. And uh, yeah, so like, he's doing well, doing really well, actually. Like I say, that curve's lovely. Nice straight wall here. You know, it's quite harder there as well because we're clad. I've got, you know, on this bit is a lot more. Uh, you've got about 300. Ooh. Combine harvester. Uh, we've got about 300 here, width. 
but we've lost it there. It's about sort of 260. So he's just going to use the smaller stones. He has whacked in a couple of um, wall ties in there because, like I say, that is basically like a foundation for that patio. So we did leave it in there because we just don't want to disrupt it. Um, we did cut off that top layer. But in that bit, it's just, yeah, it looks a bit hollow under there. So we don't really want to touch it. Um, but like I say, it's a solid big lump. So wall ties will be totally fine for that little bit. And yeah, like I say, hopefully smash up that today. Might get up there and uh, yeah, we'll crack on round. But it's just a nice way of working really like this. We'll try and leave um, some nice thin ones left because obviously I do reckon there's going to be one more course going on top of that height. Well, what is it? It's about... Oh, I need... Ah, yeah, so it's about that. So probably a centimetre. It's not going to be far off, actually. Hmm. So, yeah, so I might just take a bit more precaution on this bit and actually work out a level um, just so I don't, because I just really want them tops to be flush with the grass so but no we're all going good it's nice to be back on the old uh, dry stone effect uh like i say it's nice and easy heart in it like a dry stone wall but obviously you know smashing in the gaps with mortar but yes it's all good got a few uh every couple of stones we're just leaving little sort of weak channels in um obviously there is a french drain behind the soil so that's all grand and yeah just boost that building baby it's uh love it just uh, I, uh, you know this is perfect wall this is literally the bread and butter job this uh you know the only thing that's bad is it's quite low so but it's all right i'm getting my squats in today so i need that need that for my trimming routine but now we're doing good we're doing good lots like, so i get excited about that bit up there because it's a lot the wall's a lot taller so it will be beautiful but yeah it's just oh just love it you know, if you've got a nice curve of just one course, because like normally when you do a curve, it's once you start getting the other stones on, you can get a perfect curve. But to even get a nice curve just off the first course, beautiful, mate. I love it. I love a curve. I love a cheeky curve. Right, anyway, let's go slurp thy coffee. And, uh, yeah, crack on with this afternoon and uh, enjoy every minute. I am giddy today, I'm on one. Anyway, let's crack on. Lovely jubbly. So we are pretty much there. Well, from there to there. Old Cambo's corner is coming up. It's looking good. He's got a nice angle there. Dead straight line. It's good. Coming around that curve. Lovely. Into another one here. Donk. And then we've got a nice curve. It's coming along well. Stone's playing ball, which is always good. We've just had a really really pumping day today lots of music so uh but tomorrow i might do a bit of real time building but yeah no just good first day really you know thinking about it today we've actually done a really good chunk so yeah tomorrow i think i might just put one little slim course in uh cambo can keep smashing on with that corner 
and then I'm going to continue down there and uh, yeah lovely like I say they're over the moon with the uh, look we've put a few natural weep holes in uh, we've got one along here as well just to help out you know it's uh sometimes they work sometimes they don't but to be honest yeah like i say it has got a french chain in the back so we're all good it's just uh like i say like i said before like i always say it's better to be safe than sorry and yeah sweep all this out tomorrow and then yeah get that curve in as well start stepping that back but no overall it's all looking you know it's looking good it is looking good i love the shape i love these uh i love curves which are all different you know what i mean it's just nice to sort of do you know what i mean if it was all right angles it's just boring like this is the nice nice sharp curve lovely cheeky right angle there and a nice swooper beautiful swooper righty anyway you're gonna pack up crack on home and tomorrow's another day lovely jubbly thank you for watching take care and i'll see you tomorrow if you haven't hit the like button hit the like button because it really helps thank you <laughs> cringe right anyway over and out see you in a bit